How the hell are you? It's been a little, I've noticed the room, I've talked to some people, the room's a little... There's a lot of opinions, have you noticed that? I like an opinionated room, it brings out the fear in me. Just, I think healthy. The, tr the truth of the matter is, this, this room is full of, of a lot of people, and I've talked to a lot of people today, and a lot of people are like, ooh, hard week, hard day. I'm like, it's, right. it's only Monday, we just got started. But I realize some of you use this, this is your end of your week. If I make it to this, we're good, and we can move on. I have a realization that I think will get you past that feeling of suck, though, and I'd like to share it with you, if I may. Yes. Okay. You have to understand that while I juggle and while I do silly things, I'm kind of a klutz. And there are days where I can barely stay on my own feet. It's why I stand very still when I'm on stage hoping I don't... It's a long way down, you don't think about it, it really is. At speed, you're dead. Um, and I used to get really messed up about the fact that I was clumsy. I used to really get messed up about it until I had this, this realization that right now, and I read this, the Earth is spinning at about a thousand miles an hour. There are eight billion of us clinging to the side of it, which I bet if we could hear them all, they would all be, we'd all be screaming. This is how I feel right now. You can do started the place. <laughs> That's not enough for you. Around the sun, we're doing laps at about 67,000 miles an hour. Oh my God. And if that's not enough for you, the whole shebang is hurtling through the oblivion, the void, the inky blackness of space at about a million miles an hour. And here's the truth. If at this point you're thinking, and I tripped on the way to the coffee table, so what? You tripped on the way to the coffee, the planet is twirling and flying through space. Scream appropriately. The planet is twirling through space! <laughs> precisely, precisely my point. It's a big freaking mess. I would like to share a circus technique for survival. Um, I was learning how to stand on a walking globe, which is a, a cautionary tale in and of itself. It's a big ball, you stand on it, and I've talked about it before, you fall off it a lot, and if you do it right, you stay up there and people go, oh look, <laughs> stupid human trick. And you do it wrong, and people go, oh no, not like this. And they take you to the ER. I've, I'm somewhere in the middle right now. Um, a lot more of falling without going to the ER, I'm, I'm proud to say. There is a technique I was taught by a gymnast, which is to spot something off in the distance, something that is still and stationary. Now I realize we're hurtling through space when I'm telling you this, but realize we're talking about a station. Thank, there's one guy over here, you can't see it. You swing the camera over, this is worth it. There's one guy hurtling through space, right up there he goes. <laughs> this is why I come here. Interpretive dance. It's okay, we're twirling and spinning and flinging through space, it's fine. So the, the thing is, you find a fixed point in space, relative to your position that's stationary by comparison, and you stare at it, and hopefully, life doesn't feel so nuts because you've got something to sort of recalibrate all of, well, you, you experienced it, you but fell on your ass. This is going on YouTube. I've already said ass. Do you really want to escalate this? They're going to be bleeping out all sorts of stuff. Ah, oh, no. The point being, at the end of it, you look at a fixed point in the universe and you say to yourself, okay, brain, it's not that bad relative to my situation. You sort it out, you stay up, and you don't die for another day, except for you who have fallen on your side boot. <laughs> These things happen. I have come to see this place as, as, my, as my fixed point in the universe. On, on Tuesday, I launched the event notices. On, on Wednesday, I get a day off from you people so I don't kill you. On Thursday, we do post-production for the previous Monday's show. On the weekend, we do all of the preparation and planning that involves a lot of drinking, those meetings I've told you about in the past. And then on Monday, I'm back here, but it's a rhythm that keeps me sane. To realize that this rhythm keeps me sane says a lot about me. It says I'm hurtling through space with eight, mil eight billion of my friends screaming at the top of my lungs. And somehow, 
you crazy people. You managed to keep me sane for another week. We're about to roll into an amazing show, and I want to pause full stop long enough to say thank you for being my fixed point in the universe, and welcome to the open stage. Oh, you've had, we've, you're, you're, all, you're all feeling it now, so you've had a lot of drinks. And you, as, as the evening grows on... And